G'day everyone, Matt Elder here of MattElder.com and today I just want to cover off a couple of quick essentials for the LEGO scenario so you can go from this sort of format here to something like that, the finalized one there. So it's pretty much exactly the same, obviously it's just built out, but just keeping in mind what the essential ideas are and standards to be able to do this. This is a Family Bricks video, be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. To do this, we start off with some simple and standard components. So I've got a dots bracelet, a Technic axle, and a standard wheel, which in this one is a 49.5 diameter. So anything which is 49 to about 56 works well. And it's really quite simple. You go through first, put that on, put your dots bracelet on the third hole, so it's nice and tight. Slide the wheel in there, it will be tight, so you need to jiggle it just a little bit. Then you put the axle through, and that's going to be your basic unit and how you get things started. Okay, so to start off the action box, you have a Technic 1x4 with three holes, and you put them in the middle of each side, like so. Then from there, you decide a front and a back, so you can build it up. I'm just going to use these transparent ones. So if you're going through, you be building up in layers however you want. So you get to that point there. Then for the axle to go through, you basically want it to go the length of 16 plus 1, so you can have a handle or some sort of motor. So taking the wheel from before, we have a wheel. You have the 9 length there, Technic axle. I just got a connector, pop that onto the end, then have a 8 go in there. So 8 and 9 will give you the 17, and then you can just slide it in here. You'd have, you know, maybe four or five wheels on this, however, it depends on what you want to set it up, and you just then have the circle or the inner rim, one is flush and one is sitting a bit countersunk. So using that, you can figure out exactly how to, the number of wheels to put on in between the connectors. So we have that there. Now this is optional, but if you are going to have the pulley mechanisms down the bottom here, this is the back of a different, the, the Great Wave unit, then we just need to allow for the Technic hole there. So we'll nominate, this is the front, this is the back. So you go one, one brick row up and three in to get the position of that hole. And then same thing on the other side, one brick row up, three from the side to do that there. Now if we have this as the back of the unit, as what we have on the wave one, you need to have this side with the knob and this side with the wedge wheel. So we just go through here, wedge wheel into there, wedge wheel sits flush, and we put the pulley, pulley length on there, like so. And then on this one, you've got one of these half brushes. So it's gonna stick out a little bit, knob on there, in it goes, and then that on the inside. So then depending upon if you're using the pulley mechanisms where you put the pulleys, you'd have your length of Technic axle in here and another support, however you want to get that into there, much like what we've done here. You can sort of see, you've got the wedge wheel, and it comes in, the two red ones are the supports, and there on this side is one of the other wheels. And then on the other side, if you can see into there, you've got one pulley to drive this first wheel, another one to drive there, and then a couple of Technic bricks there with holes. So just continuing this along, if you were to build this all the way up, it's 10 bricks high, and then on the top, you can have it finished off with some flat tiles and also help connect it all together. And while we're at it, we'll just take a wheel mechanism or anything you want. You do a hand crank. 
this pop that into there. That's why we had the 17, because you got the 16 plus one. So once you get all your wheels on there with your different designs, you just use that and that turns. And that's the basic way you can get that started. So now we're gonna look at building one of these front display units. So I'll take this, spin this back around to the front. I like to do it with a, a half unit. So I've got a 16 by eight. On the long side then, I'm taking these one by four Technic three hole bricks and place those along the long side. And then because it's a half, I'm then gonna take one by two with one hole Technic bricks and put those on each of the corners. Get a couple of frictionless pins. You could use friction ones, but it's gonna give you more grief if you ever try to take them apart and put them together. Pop them in the end there, and then I can take that and just connect that up there. So now I've got the main wheel action box and connected with a front display unit. Now we're gonna look at making the back billboard unit. So to do that, I'll just borrow this, just so you have your 10 bricks high there. I've got another 10 bricks in the clear, just so that to show that's how high you'd be building it. Then I've just got a couple of these other transparent clear ones upward here, so we can bring up the level to 10. Then to put the billboard unit on, we're gonna use a snot technique. So I've got one by four bricks with snots on one side, and I've got four of those, and they will then just go along the back unit layer, like so. From that, I then take a 16 by 16 plate, which is gonna be your main board for the billboard, and then we're just putting that literally straight onto those snots. And there you have it. That's the main components to be able to do the front display and then a action box there. In this case here where I've used this front display, most of this is actually cheated. I've used these mountain pieces here, just two of those, put them together, built a little thing on top, and then just themed it out. So literally, you can go from that configuration just keep on building it out and you'd end up with this one. In this case, because I've only got the main handle drive unit at the top there, you wouldn't need these pulleys down the bottom, but I'm just showing you so then you know if you then do end up building one which does use those pulley units. So this has just been a quick video to give you an idea of the standard and demystify some of this. Once you get your head around this basic configuration, then the rest of the other examples here, it's just really detail and then just spending the time to be creative and do it in the way that you feel best meets your theme. I have another longer quick start sort of video which goes for about 45 minutes and it really gets into a lot more of the nuts and bolts of all this and showing in great detail how the other ones were constructed, but it's all based around this idea. So you can check that out. Or I've also broken that video up into three parts so it's a bit more manageable and consumable. So hopefully that was clear. If not, drop the comments in below and I'll respond to any questions. I'd love to see anything you come up with and we'll share it out on my own social media as well. So drop me a line with that. We also have a quick start PDF guide on the Lego Scenario website, which is mattelder.com forward slash scenario, which is virtually the same as this video, but some people like the printed form or just having step-by-step -step instructions. And this is a good summary, which you can click the button here to save it and then go and print it off. So you've got it for later reference. And there are other lots of resources on this page as well. So check that out. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. Thanks very much for watching. Here are some other videos you might find of interest. And until next time, when we talk about all things Lego.